Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So whilst the initial launch might not have been great, people are now starting to enjoy themselves in this new simulator. At the moment, of course, for most of us, it's a vanilla sim with no real add-ons to speak of. If you'll remember though, when Microsoft announced that Flight Simulator 2024 was going to be a thing, they announced at the same time that most, if not all add-ons from Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 would work on this new platform. Now, that must have been music to the ears of everybody, because if, like me, you've got literally hundreds of pounds worth of add-ons for your Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, the last thing you want to do is find them all reduced to the delete folder so that we can purchase them all again for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Not a good marketing ploy if that was going to be the case. Like Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 though, the sim does come pre-installed with some Azobo handcrafted scenery. These of course can be seen on the global screen just as they were in the previous sim as they've all got the little star next to them. But as you'll know, the handcrafted scenery from Azobo is okay, but what we've seen the professional developers do takes this to another level. Now, since the release of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, lots of the big name developers have come out with their compatibility model going forward. We've got Orbex, Inibils, etc., all stating that, of course, they will be supporting the new platform. Now, obviously, at the moment, Inibils, for example, won't have all of their scenery available for Flight Simulator 2024. If we go and find Leeds Bradford, for example, only 2020 is available. But what I'm very interested in finding out and what we're going to look at now is, will my airport scenery add-ons work for Flight Sim 2024 straight off the bat? Well, there's only one way to find out. This is my community folder. This is the community folder for Flight Simulator 2020 however and what we're going to do is move a few of these over into the brand new community folder now in order to find the brand new community folder this is the path if I work back just so you can find it it will be located in your user folder and then from there you go to app data then local scroll until you find packages and then you are looking for Microsoft Limitless. Make sure you found this. In there, go to the local cache from there, packages, and then this is the community folder. Make sure that you get quick access to this just by pinning it to the start menu or pinning it to quick access because it is quite a pain to try and find it. I can now seamlessly flick between my community folder for Flight Simulator 2020 and we've got quick access to 2024s. You're going to have to be careful, of course, not to confuse the two so you know which scenery is installed in which simulator. Now, obviously you could just cut and paste the entire lot. I'm not going to do that. I've selected just a few select sceneries and we're going to have a look to see if they work. Now, you may remember from Flight Sim 2020, the more things you had in your community folder, the longer it took to load. Have a look now when my sim loads. We can see down at the bottom, it actually says loading sim objects. That's how many I've got in and it's going through the count. This isn't something we saw in Flight Sim 2020, which often led us to wonder, has the sim crashed on startup? Nice to see that there. And it obviously shows you just how much you've got in the community folder. It seems to have zipped through those quite quite quickly, so fingers crossed it's loaded without a crash. Let's get into the sim and see if any of those airports will transfer across and look okay. So let's have a look at some of the add-on airports. I've popped in a couple, starting with Leeds then. You can see now it obviously does identify it as a handcrafted airport with the uh, little star. If we can just zoom in, um, we'll just park anywhere, set the uh, departure up. And then of course we hit start flight and pray that the sim doesn't crash. All right, well, so far, so good. The sim must be reading the scenery files from Innerbuilds Leads because, as you can see in the background there, I can see the car park. This is obviously not a 
a handcrafted Azovo airport by default. So I think this actually has worked. Now, in terms of frame rates and things, it doesn't look too bad at the moment, but I've got no weather, I've got no um, traffic or anything like that. And if you have a look at the ground as well, you can see not everything's loaded at the moment. We've got some blurry textures there, but this is due to the fact that everything is being streamed. Of course, there you can just see that that has uh, now cleaned up. Interesting though, because obviously this is on my hard drive. We've seen it. It's actually in the community folder, so it's not like this airport scenery is being streamed, but obviously still taking a moment or so to load. But I would call that a success. Leeds Bradford Airport from Innerbuilds looking really nice. Let's check out some Somewhere else. Okay, so let's check out somewhere that wasn't made by Innibuilds. Obviously, Innibuilds do work with Microsoft and Azobo in creating scenery for them, so they may have uh, sort of an insight into what was needed when creating their scenery in the first place. This is probably the first payware scenery I ever purchased for Microsoft Flight Simulator. That is Maco Simulations Manchester Airport. So I will throw the little Cessna right into the center of the airport and and uh, see if this is going to load as well. And I truly am actually amazed that this worked. A what is now considered probably a very basic scenery, one of the very first ones. This is about three years old, maybe a little bit more, and it is working flawlessly in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. There's absolutely nothing from this airport scenery that is designed or could ever have worked with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 because this sim hadn't even been announced when this airport was created. So it seems that Azobo is saying that most things should be compatible with the new sim is actually true. Just going to have a quick look over here to see if the uh, the airport pub is there and, uh, and rendered correctly in which it is. So I'm thrilled that this works because in theory if this old airport scenery works it must mean that most if not all are going to work to a certain degree. Let's check out somewhere else. Okay, so now I'm getting quite excited. It seems really nice that those so far seem to be working. We've not had any crash to desktops or anything like that. So next we're going somewhere big. Let's have a look at Amsterdam Schiphol. I've got Fly Tampers Amsterdam Schiphol um, all ready to go. Let's once again throw the Cessna in at, uh, well, we'll throw it in at the EasyJet stands, the uh, the hotel gates, start the flight, and see if Fly Tampa scenery also works. And yes, of course it does. Now, I will say, you can probably see here on screen, the FPS of this is really rather shocking at the moment. Um, to say, I mean, just a little Cessna, there's no traffic, there's no clouds, everything is uh, basically default aside from the, uh, the airport, of course. Um, I wouldn't hold out much hope in flying into this scenery uh, on VATSIM or anything like that when um, when that was capable. That said though, there is still a lot of detail um, being streamed because only the airport is sort of stored locally, all the surrounding area of course is being streamed from the cloud. That is the way Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 works. Now as I went round filming this I did notice after a bit of time, look there we go, all the FPS uh, issues seem to have gone. Suddenly the FPS has drastically um, improved and I'm guessing that's just because everything has been preloaded, pre-cached and so my PC can now run it. This is probably just something we're going to have to get to grips with, uh, particularly if you're in a uh, an area with not very fast internet connection like uh, like myself. I've, as I said before in previous videos, I've only got about 30 um, megabytes per second, 40 to 50 on a good day and it also depends, of course, what the kids are watching upstairs. So, in overall um, conclusion, it seems that, yes, your scenery from Flight Sim 2020 will work in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. And let's be honest, that is amazing.
This is Glasgow Airport from Pyrigee. The aircraft you're seeing there are static. They are part of the scenery, so even those seem to have uh, loaded in and don't look strange or anything like that. I was expecting some things not to look correctly, not to work maybe, and maybe even a crash the desktop. I didn't get any of those. I would love to hear your comments um, down below on this. Have you ported anything across from Flight Sim 2020 into Flight Sim 2024? It would also mean of course that if you were thinking of purchasing some scenery for flight sim 2020 but were put off because you didn't want to then if it's on sale or anything like that it might be worth grabbing it now for 2020 knowing that it will probably work absolutely fine in flight sim 2024 again love to hear your comments on this and how your porting over of scenery has gone so far hope you found the video useful don't forget if you are purchasing scenery then the contrail store we have our 10% easyjet simpilot discount code write that down save it use it the next time you're buying anything and obviously save yourself some money and of course don't forget to check out innerbuilds one of our channel partners link in the video description below using that link to purchase any innerbuilds scenery or aircraft uh, does also support the channel so a massive thanks to everyone who does that until next time enjoy your flight sim 2020 scenery in flight sim 2024 thanks for watching hope you found it useful and if you have please don't forget to leave a like and don't forget if you're not yet a subscriber hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any more of our flight sim 2024 tutorials reviews and of course live streams thanks for watching i'll see you all again in the next one bye bye for now